morning. Well, <clears throat> we are in my car. And I thought I would take you. Let me turn this air conditioning down. I thought I would take you with me today. I am going to go to Tulsa this Sunday. And I am going to go do a little bit of shopping today. And I am going to go to Trader Joe's. I have never been to a Trader Joe's ever. And to be honest with you, I didn't even know that we had a Trader Joe's in Tulsa until just here recently. So I have a list of things that I want to look at. I'm waiting for my garage door to shut so I can set the alarm. husband is at the new shop, <coughs> new shop, I think I've mentioned this, that we're putting in a new pawn shop here in town, and he's going to work there for a little while before it gets too hot, and I am going to go, oh, <laughs> I'm going to go to a little shopping, and um, have some things I need to that I had bought for the cruise that I did I didn't end up taking on the cruise a couple dresses and um, <coughs> a peach hat <coughs> and a beach bag that I didn't even take on the cruise. So I'm gonna return those. I went to go to Ulta um down the dock it's the 21 days of beauty and today Derma Doctor Vitamin C Serum is on sale at only $95. Him, and uh, we might meet up later here this afternoon and go see it, the final chapter, maybe, possibly. I don't know yet. We're going to do that or not. We signed up at a Regal Theater for $18 a month plus taxes, so it ends up being like $20 unlimited Annie, if you want any cat food, if you watch 
file film when I go in or file film when I come back out. I do this every single time. I cannot get used to turning down this, this street right here. Every single time I miss this street. I went the back way. I didn't take the main the main street to go to the new shop. I take the back way. Because I'm going to do convenience store that I always stop at on my way to Tulsa. It's on the turnpike. Anyway, I'm going to insert a picture here. Okay, did y'all see that? Diet ice. Has anybody else ever seen diet ice? <laughs> Who come up with diet ice? <laughs> I know it's just crushed ice, but why are they, why are they calling it diet ice? Every time I see that, you know, it just makes me laugh. Like, diet ice. Come on now. Diet ice. Anyway, I thought y'all would be like seeing diet ice. Does anybody else in their area have a convenience store that um, has diet ice? Anyway, <laughs> see you soon. Okay, I am finally at Trader Joe's. It took me a long time to get here. This is definitely... This is why I didn't know it was here, because it's in a part of Tulsa that I never, ever, ever come to. So, I am here. There's a lot of people here, so I don't think I'll be filming while I'm in there. Because, um, yeah, this is a little bit more of the, um, uh, millennium type area. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's not definitely not the type of area that my husband and I come to. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to go in and see what I can find. And then when I come back out, I'll let you know how it went. So, oh, my stars, people. I survived my first trip to Trader Joe's. Oh, my God. That place was a madhouse. First of all, it's too small for that many people, and they were just going nuts in there. Holy cow! You can't even hardly even get anywhere down any aisles whatsoever. I did manage to buy. I did manage to buy. Let me show you what I bought really quick. First of all, oops, some of my stuff is sticking. Okay. Okay, well, my stuff is sticking. The only three things I bought were these cups, these cupcake, no, not cupcakes, mini carrot cakes. <laughs> Those look good, don't they? Look good with that cream cheese frosting on them, see? And then there's a sheet mask that's stuck on there. Look, I bought a sheet mask. I bought more than one. I mainly went here to look at 
the beauty section is mainly what I came here for. I've been wanting to come here and buy some groceries. And I've been wanting my husband to come with me to do the groceries. And I'm glad in there. Yeah. It basically it's like an Aldi, but maybe a little bit more upscale than an Aldi. But I'm pretty sure they own I'm pretty sure Trader Joe's owns Aldi anyway. So let me show you. Um I got some sheet masks. I got three of them. I didn't go hog wild. They only had the one. It's the rich hydrating face sheet mask. So I got three of these. They were two dollars a piece to try. And it's really funny because um, you can get these in the store for two dollars a piece or you can get them online and I think they were ten dollars a piece online. That's ridiculous. Why why do they do that? Why is there such a markup online? Anyway, and of course my fat is gonna really do a lot of wrestling. Then I got a shave cream. Um, I'm going to try this and see if it compares to the Cremo one that I like that I get at Walmart. But it's the moisturizing cream shave and it's the honey mango with aloe vera and vitamin E. So I picked that up and it was, how much was it? Like $3, maybe $4? It wasn't that much. It was four dollars. It was three ninety nine. And then I got this. <laughs> I don't like body lotions, body butters, but I've heard so many people talk about this, and I I wanted to get it. It's the Trader Joe's pumpkin body butter. I got it just to try it. <laughs> anyway, plus it's fall. It's getting ready to be fall. You gotta get pumpkin stuff, right? And then I got this, and it's the Trader Joe's, I don't know why I keep saying Trader Joe's, duh, I'm at Trader Joe's, the Rose Water Facial Toner, right here, I wanted to try this, I've seen this, and, um, I didn't open it, can I get it open with one hand, oh my god, see it, I wanted to smell it, but there's, People trying to shove me out of the way because they wanted to get to bath and you know health and beauty stuff, and I was there first. People, they could have came back because there was people there when I first went there. I went around and waited till they were done. Oh, that smells good. Smells like roses, which I like. So I got that. This is hard to do one-handed. That's just between my legs trying to get the lid back on. And I don't spill it. So I got that. And then I got a body wash. And it's called Refresh Citrus Body Wash with Vitamin C. And um, the ingredients look pretty promising. So I'm hoping that this does not irritate my arms. Uh, if you see any of my empties, you know I have a lot of issue with... Um, be careful with body washes, but they don't irritate anything on my body except for my arms. Um, for whatever reason, certain body washes, if they have a lot of fragrance or a different kind of in certain ingredients that I'm not for sure what, will make my arms itch to high heaven. So I'm hoping this doesn't have that. It has fragrance in it, but it's like really, really, really low on the ingredient deck. But the stuff in here looks like maybe it won't irritate. And it has a lot of different oils in it. So I'm going to try, try that. And it will, how much was this? It wasn't that expensive either. Um, it was $2.99, $3. So. 
then the last thing that I got was this moisturizer. And I, I heard Dr. Dre, I was watching a Dr. Dre video on um, what she thought about the different um, beauty products, skincare products from Trader Joe's. about this product here and how that it's not just for the body that you can actually use it on the face and they had a tester of this in there and I tested it out on my hand and it felt pretty good so that's what I'm going to use it for I'm going to use it for my face I think for a night cream this is a huge huge thing it's 16 ounces but it's the a Midsummer's Night Cream Moisturizing Cream Extra Dry Formula so I'm going to give that a go but anyway, she talked about that, so, and that's how she was using it, was on her face, so. I'm going to try that. If I don't like it, it's no big deal, because it was um, $3.99, $4, so. Which, I think the most expensive thing was the, um, the carrot cakes, they were $4.99. Oh, and the, the body butter, the pumpkin body butter was $4.99. Anyway, so that's what I got at Trader Joe's. I survived. Um, I'm getting ready to go back to the part of Tulsa that I'm familiar with, that I normally shop at, and I think I'm going to head to um, probably Ulta next. So anyway, that's where we're headed, so I'll see you there. Okay, guys, I am back home, and I, I didn't vlog the rest of the day what I was doing. I just... I took the rest of my stuff back that I needed to do, and then I went into Ulta, and this is the stuff that I got. So I'll just show it to you really quick. Um, this right here is the Living Proof um, Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This, I had received a coupon because I made um, diamond status again, and I had a coupon to where I could get this free. So I got this free. And I'm going to give this to my daughter. And so that's going to her. And then this was the Derma Doctor Vitamin C Serum that I talked about. That was today's um, 21 Days of Beauty sale item that I was talking about I wanted to get. So I did get that. And then I got another one of my e.l.f. eyebrow pencils in blonde that I liked. And got one of those while I was there. Some of the Ulta Beauty exfoliating cotton rounds. Picked up a pack of those. Try these again. I used to really like these and then I they changed them and then I didn't like them. And I was using some that I had, was buying at Target. And those were okay and then I just recently bought some at Walmart. And I don't like those at all. So I, I was at I was at Ulta. I thought, well, I'm gonna pick those up while I'm at Ulta. And then I got this here, and this is from ColourPop. It's the No Filter Concealer, and it is in the color Fair Double Zero. And let me show you this. This I'm not going to use as a concealer at all. I actually am going to use this as an eyeshadow base if I can get it open with one hand and this is what I'm going to use this for it's just for an eyeshadow piece because it is like it's white I don't know if you'll be able to see that but it is just a white I don't know how anybody really would be able to use this as a concealer I wish you could see oh sorry it is swatched see there it is swatched see how white it is but I'm gonna use that as an eyeshadow base and see how that works so anyway that is it for my haul that I got at Ulta today not a whole lot just a few things and that was it that was all of the shopping that I did I went into Sephora but I didn't I didn't buy anything I wasn't even in there just 
a few minutes of even math. So anyway, so that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this little vlog, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.